really going hard on this Roadcaster Pro content because it is a it can be a intimidating device to use. But as you can see, each of these functions I'm showing you today are quite simple to use. They're quite simple. Uh, just as if you if you implement them one at a time, it's actually quite simple. How does my audio sound to all of you guys? Does it sound good? I tweaked it in and we're all you're listening to this live through the Roadcaster Pro mixer. No enhancements other than what the Roadcaster Pro is bringing to the table. I think it sounds fantastic. Let me know what you think. But wait, there's more. So, um, in the mixer, <laughs> we can do even more cool stuff. And I'm gonna show that to you here in just a moment. So here is your ultimate guide on how to do recordings in the Rodecaster Pro mixer. There are multiple ways that you can do recordings and there are multiple settings that are involved. And the first method I'm going to show you is just built into the mixer itself. So the Rodecaster Pro has this gigantic recording button right here. And you can just straight up hit it once you have a micro SD card plugged into the mixer and it just records automatically. But that's just one recording function. You hit the button again and it stops recording. But there are multiple recording functions and things that you can do that I'm going to go over today. So first of all, when I hit record a moment ago and it started recording to the micro SD card, notice how this little flag popped up? Hit the flag. Hit the flag again. It's marking the recording at different points to let you know that that particular part of the recording was something that you should keep an eye on for later. Pretty cool, right? So maybe you can mark a highlight or you can flag a particular part, the start or end of your podcast. You can click the flag and it'll mark that particular part of the podcast so that you can check it out later. Pretty neat, right? Then you can hit the record button and it will end the recording. 